Any of you who have known me from other classes know that I am quick to have an opinion about pretty much anything. Ask me about it, and chances are either I have run into it in my nine years of teaching now, or I have read about it, or I have a resource on that, or I've had training in that, or I got into some Twitter discussion about it. One thing I have learned, though, in now my nine years of teaching is that there's no such thing as colorblind education. There's no such thing as gender neutral education. There's no such thing as bias free teaching. I have found that just when you think you have defeated some bias underneath everything, some student will challenge you and the process never ends. When it comes to dealing with culture in the classroom, I go along with the tenets of anti-bias education that we use here in Kalamazoo Public Schools with um, especially Phoenix High School, where I teach in the morning, our alternative high school. The idea is to get students to not just respect other people's cultures and backgrounds and funds of knowledge, but more importantly, their own, to own it, to be proud of it, to develop confidence and to learn how to code switch. And that's what we really do in the language classrooms, even though I'm teaching Spanish this year, again, in the language classes, we're the ones who get students to really deal with reality, you know, the reality of their biases, the reality of their fears, the reality of their concerns and their histories. And that's what we do.